welcome to another episode of Gourmet Diaries. I hope you're all doing fine. This, in fact, is supposed to be my first video on my channel, but as a beginner, I was facing a lot of initial editing glitches, so I just had to wait. But I thought it's better late than never, right? Yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys are doing fine, and let's just hope and pray that the world becomes a better place to live in really soon. So I wanted to do this introductory video with you guys just so that you know uh, you know who you're watching on a regular basis and what I do normally and everything and yes I was supposed to be enjoying this cup of tea in my balcony and having this conversation with you but I had this thousand one hundred noises echoing in my ears by my four year old and I just thought let's just get real here and you know be in a spot where I'm easily available for everybody in my house and yeah this is that spot kitchen <laughs> i spend most of my time here i love it it's by no means any force or anything else i love being in my kitchen because i love experimenting with food i feel food good food is like this therapy that can heal you in just seconds you know so yeah uh, coming back to that coming back to food so yes i hope you have enjoyed my first video i wanted to start with a very sweet uh, treat you know as a beginning ritual so I prepared the banana halwas and I really hope you enjoyed it and you must give it a try this was and will always be a passion for me it's like I said it's a therapy for me it's a stress buster when I'm you know when I'm looking for something that can really comfort me I just come into this kitchen and I just prepare whatever whatever comes into my mind so I thought why don't I just share it with you guys on a channel, on a platform like YouTube. I thought it would reach a lot of people, you know. So I wanted to do that and this has been really working and playing around on my mind for the longest of the longest time that I wanted to create a channel in here and connect with people who loves the same kind of therapy that I do, which is cooking and playing with food and spices and all that jazz. So yeah, finally it took me so long to actually get here and get this started, but I'm here. We made it happen. I am so glad that we made it happen and I'm finally here on this platform. And I promise to give you the best of whatever I can from the bottom of my heart. Alright guys, so without any further ado, let's get cooking. Here it's almost dinner time and I was planning on making some the pasta it's a very simple dish nothing fancy nothing jazzy about this it's directly a one pot recipe so you can also bake this if you like but I don't have the time to preheat and get things slow cooked here so I'm just gonna be doing everything in my saucepan so I hope you enjoy this video with me and if you do then do not forget to press that subscribe button like and share let's get cooking to begin with, take a white saucepan, pour in some olive oil and add in one large onion with half a capsicum. Mix them well. Once they are sautéed well, add in a tablespoon of tomato paste. Mix them well till the raw smell of the tomato paste disappears. Next, add in one can of tuna. Now let's add in the spices. I'm beginning with some salt and pepper, some oregano, and some paprika. The spice is really up to your taste. Lastly, I'll add in about two teaspoons of chili flakes. The measurements will be given below in the description box for your reference. Combine everything really well and next we will be adding in some cream. I'm using about 2 tablespoons of cream. You can again fluctuate it based on your requirement. Mix the cream well with these spices. Make sure the sauce is not too dry. Next, add in the cooked pasta. I've used about 2 cups of pasta here. Add in a dash of water if you feel this is getting a little too dry. Combine them really well and keep them aside. Next, take a smaller saucepan and scramble some eggs 
an olive oil, salt and pepper and a splash of milk. I've used about four eggs in here. Scramble them really well and we're going to add them into the cooked pasta. Give them all one final mix and yummy tuna pasta is now ready. Make sure to garnish some mozzarella cheese over the top so that they will melt in into the hot pasta before you serve it to your dinner plate. Do try this in your kitchen and let me know how it worked out. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode with me and I will be back with another episode rather another recipe soon till then take care and be safe and please don't forget to like share and subscribe